Oh, how sweep it is. The Cowgirls sweep over the weekend against a very, very good UCF team. UCF is a team that doesn't score a whole lot of runs, but they pitch the ball very well. They play defense. And as we saw, they're resilient and they can hit the long ball. So anytime you play a team like that, hey, they can, we saw it twice. They can, they can just rise up and strike for four at any time. It is a nerve wracking weekend. Great job, Cowgirls. And by the way, Brandon Helwick, all the people that I have met with the UCF side of things, they are simply fantastic. First class people. Super excited to have the UCF Knights in the Big 12, and it was a great weekend of softball. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get right to it, and let's talk Cowgirl softball. Just as play-by-play -play voice Bill Van S predicted on Thursday, and as he stated in our podcast, setting up this weekend with the UCF Lady Knights, that, they, they, hey, whenever you play UCF, they like to play uh, low-scoring games. They don't score a million runs. If you beat them, you beat them like three to two. Well, how about two to nothing on Friday night? The Cowgirls got one run in the first inning on an RBI base hit by Michaela Wark and then also a, a leadoff walk by Talon Edwards and then Carly Godwin. Carly Godwin is just simply amazing. The type of offensive player she is, especially as a freshman. Now, I don't even like to use it for a freshman because she is just a great player for anybody in the country. So the Cowgirls, they scored one in the first, one in the sixth. And then how about Lexi Kilfoyle, who she got the win, went the entire distance on Friday and then came in on Sunday and got the last couple of outs and, and finished the game for the Cowgirls and for her, it was a tremendous day in the circle. Kilfoyle, all seven innings, she gave up no runs, had six strikeouts, and try this one on for size. No walks for Lexi Kilfoyle. How about that? So what a great game for her. The Cowgirls got off to a great start. That first game against a good team is always so big, and I know that was just kind of a a tense game both ways. It's kind of a nail biter. You really want to get off to that great start. So congratulations to the Cowgirls. Lexi Kilfoyle getting off to that great start on Friday in that big first game of a three-game series. And then on Saturday, the Cowgirls pounded out 10 runs on the day in total. They had actually nine hits and 10 runs on the day. Talon Edwards led the way for the Cowgirls with three big hits. Caroline Wong had two hits. Again, Caroline Wong started Friday and Saturday three for six, so she did simply a fantastic day. And also, Caroline Wong had a home run. So did Michaela Wark on Saturday. Talon Edwards had her first double of the season. Rosie Davis and Macy Graff also doubled as well. So three doubles, two home runs, and then two sacrifice flies from Carly Godwin and Megan Bloodworth. And then that that that's how you score 10 runs on nine hits, which is exactly what the Cowgirls did. So it was a great game and then scored a six spot in the sixth inning. But, hey, when you play close games, when you know the margins are going to be tight, what you really, really, really want to do is you want to be the team that scores first. The Cowgirls did that on Friday. They did that on Saturday. Talon Edwards led off the bottom of the first inning with a single. Claire Tim reached on a fielder's choice, advanced her, and then Caroline Wong hit a home run to left center, and that scored Claire Tim, and the Cowgirls had a 2 to nothing lead. They added on in the third inning, one run, then they added on a run in the fourth inning. In the third, the Cowgirls got a leadoff walk by Macy Graff. Talon Edwards reached on a fielder's choice, and then Claire Tim got on base via an error. Carly Godwin had a sack fly from there, and the Cowgirls had scored one to move the score at that point to three to nothing. And then in the fourth, they added another run as Michaela Wark hit her home run. At that point, the Cowgirls had a four to nothing lead, and you're thinking, hey, this is pretty safe. You've got all this pitching going in the circle, and, and the Cowgirls have been just simply fantastic pitching wise and then lo and behold the UCF Knights they get a bloop and a blast actually two home runs and it wasn't the two home runs that that did the Cowgirls in it was the two walks in front of those two home runs and UCF put up a crooked number a four spot to be exact in the fifth inning the Cowgirls did not respond in the 
bottom of the fifth inning, but then did in the bottom of the sixth with a six spot. How about that six spot for the Cowgirls in the inning? Caroline Wong singled to the shortstop. Rosie Davis doubled to left center field, and that started the rally for the Cowgirls. And then Katie Lott singled through the left side of the infield, and at that point, the Cowgirls were in business. Talon Talon Edwards then doubled to right center, and that rounded out the scoring. And when it was all said and done, it was a six spot and a 10-4 victory for the Cowgirls on Saturday. Sunday, another game to where guess what happened? Cowgirls scored first again. They scored five runs in the first inning combined between the three games. That is huge. And they scored five runs combined between the first and second innings. Kind of like we saw the boys today. They had that tough loss on Saturday. Hey, when you have a team that is, you have them on the ropes, you beat them twice, they're on the road, they're a million miles away from home, get on them early. The Cowgirls did that. They took a 5 to nothing lead. They did score one in the bottom of the sixth, and then Lexi Kilfoyle got the last three outs for the Cowgirls. How about a great outing for Ivy Rosenberry, who started the game and went four innings. And I'll tell you what, Lexi Kilfoyle, she went all eight innings at Baylor. We saw that. She went all seven innings on Friday. She needs some time where she can rest. Ivy Rosenberry, Kyra Acock, all the pitchers with the Cowgirls staff have done a great job. Ivy Rosenberry with an ERA under one. She's done better than good. She has been flat dominant. She moved to 7-1 and one on the season with a four-inning pitched outing, a four-inning start for the Cowgirls. Gave up five hits, just one earned run, and had a strikeout. She handed the ball over to Lexi Kilfoyle for the last three innings. Kilfoyle, again, with her just calm, cool demeanor, was simply fantastic and finished the game out and the sweep for the Cowgirls. Wanted to go back to Friday's game. Remember that Talon Edwards slide at home plate? Caroline Wong had singled, and then Talon Edwards on a very close play at home plate. She slid around the tag of the catcher. I have that on my social media. You're seeing it right here. That was in the bottom of the first inning. That got the lid off. That was huge to score early. Talent Edwards, she is just such a smart player. She All the margins I talk about, she knows how to do all the little things. Originally called out, and then you know, I put it on my social media. It was clear that, that she was safe, as you see her, her hand get in there. And so a great slide by Talent Edwards. Great job, Caroline Wong, of getting – the first run in for the Cowgirls and get off the board. And then from there, uh, Lexi Kilfoyle did a great job of just kind of uh, just kind of stemming the tide there for against the UCF. UCF isn't a team that scores a million runs, and, and Lexi Kilfoyle did not do anything that would generate offense for them outside of making them earn it. So that was a very, very, very good thing. Rosie Davis had a leadoff single. We mentioned that. Hit that thing up the middle, and she and she just continues to get better and better and better offensively and defensively. And how about the great defense from shortstop Megan Bloodworth? This young lady, if you remember the plays in the game on Sunday against Baylor, she is absolutely money. She went into the hole against UCF and made a great play that would have tied the game if she didn't make it in the fifth inning. This girl, hey, when the when the lights shine, she makes the play. She is just absolutely money as a defensive shortstop for the Cowgirls. Caroline Wong hit her seventh home run of the season in the Friday game, and that got the scoring started. She had hits in five games in a row at that point in 10 out of her last 11. And then Michaela Wark, she showed her completeness as a hitter after hitting a home run. Then she hit a single up the middle to start the sixth. And that was big because UCF had scored four to tie it. Then that rally right there is what created separation. Rosie Davis doubled. Katie Lott had an RBI single. Then Macy Graff and Talon Edwards both doubled. And four runs later, the Cowgirls had put some distance. Michaela Wark then hit her fifth home run of the season to give the Cowgirls a four to nothing lead. We talked about that and how, you know, just jumping out and getting the lead was such a big deal. And how about the pinch hit from Katie Lott? Got brought in to pinch hit with the bases loaded in a tie game. And man, did Katie Lott deliver. 
Lot work the hitters count, which is 3-1-2-0. Those are all hitters counts. And then just spiked one into left field, gave the Cowgirls a lead, and the Cowgirls never looked back. Got to like the the not just the big talent of Talent Edwards, but also the hustle. If you remember, Talent Edwards stretched her play. She had the RBI base hit, stretched it all the way into a triple as the catcher was not paying attention to her. And then Ivy Rosenberry came in the fifth with the game tied, slammed the door on UCF, gave up an infield single on her end, but that was it in the last eight outs on Saturday with the game on the line. It was truly a team effort. So I wanted to mention some of the great work that the Cowgirls did over the weekend. As far as Sunday, Carly Godwin put the Cowgirls on the board after just a great at-bat. I mean a great at-bat by Godwin. She hit a rise ball over the right center field wall. Not surprised it went to right center. Not surprised she was using the big part of the field again. Not surprised the Cowgirls scored first. They are simply fantastic at doing that. Again, Ivy Rosenberry gave the Cowgirls a really, really, really nice start. And then the Cowgirls got a ringing hit to start the bottom of two. Michaela Wark, she had a real big ringer off the left field wall for a long single, then a sack bunt, then a huge hit from Claire Tim to cap off a three-run inning. At that point, the Cowgirls had a 5-1 to one lead. And from that point, you had Ivy Rosenberry in the circle who was doing a really, really good job. When she did get into jam, she did a great job of minimizing things. And then, hey, how about the big-time plays defensively for Claire Tim and Macy Graff in the top of the fourth inning? Both outfielders and both went and made just, made just sensational catches in the outfield and all those margins matter when you make great plays defensively it was already tough enough for UCF to score runs man it's just demoralizing for the other team Ivy Rosenberry what a day she had four strong innings gave up again just one earned run walked nobody made just big pitch after pitch big pitch okay so Sunday was her 15th outing she's allowed zero runs 11 times out of those 15 and just one run three times So great job, Ivy. What a wonderful Sunday she had in the circle for the Cowgirls. And then we mentioned that after UCF put the three spot up in the sixth and tightened it to five to four, that the Cowgirls answered. Rosie Davis led off with a double. Michaela Wark drove in in a run with a double of her own. And the Cowgirls got a big insurance run to send it to the seventh where Lexi Kilfoyle worked around some trouble, no doubt about it. She worked around some trouble in the seventh end of the game to give the Cowgirls a huge sweep of the UCF Lady Knights. Awesome job, girls, no doubt about that. So the, the, the Cowgirls get out of the big conference weekend of the UCF with a big sweep. So the Cowgirls have Tulsa in a midweek game that no doubt will be sold out. That will be a fun game to watch. And then it's off to Provo, Utah. Two weekends in a row, the Cowgirls face New members to the Big 12, and that's going to be a whole lot of fun, so check into that. Also, don't forget, we're going to have our podcast with the play-by-play voice of the Cowgirls, Bill Van S. here on Thursday, so make sure and tune in for that. He'll recap this very exciting weekend with the UCF Lady Knights, and then also set you up for what you need to know about BYU. So, hey, look forward to that. I'm super excited about all of that. And so until then, I want to thank you for tuning in to this latest podcast of Cowgirl Softball. Again, another big sweep. Over the weekend, the Cowgirls are now 5-1 and one in conference play and rocking and rolling. Go Cowgirls.